Hi, my name is Lee Erickson, born in uh, Carmel, New York. Uh, moved to Garrison when I was about a year old and raised here for the past 45 years of my life. Went to school, Garrison Union Free School. I'm running for the position of town supervisor, town of Phillipstown. I got involved uh, in the municipal affairs of our town due to the uh, rezoning ordinance that the town was pushing about 18 months ago when I saw that my personal property rights and my business were going to be severely affected. And uh, after we came to a pretty good balance with that zoning ordinance, which was passed about two months ago, I realized that there was a lot more to the town uh, business that needed attention. And the ordinary citizen didn't have a good voice in town. And I'm here to take care of that and change that. Originally, when the first release of the zoning ordinance came out, the business property I had was going to be changed to residential use and the uh, current use that I had would not be transferable or grandfathered in, so to speak, and, and be able to be sold or transferred to my family should something happen to me. So I realized that that was a serious problem for me and my family and my children's uh, future. From day one, when I win the election November 8th, the door in my office is going to be hinged in the middle and swing both ways. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're from, you're going to be able to come in that office, sit down and have a conversation with me and get an answer to your question. You may not like that answer, but you're going to at least have a discussion with me and get an answer. I grew up in Garrison, went to the Garrison Union Free School, uh, graduated from there and went to James I. O'Neill High School in Highland Falls, New York. Back then we didn't have a choice of high schools uh, as the kids do now where they can go to Haldane or, or O'Neill High School, uh, as my daughter is going to Haldane in Cold Spring, by the way. Um, from that, I chose not to go on to college. I went into the family business, which was Erickson Brothers Water Well Drilling. And I drilled water wells for a number of years all around the, our town of Phillipstown and, and the county. Um, from then, uh, I found that I had a knack for woodworking. So I uh, went on to work for a, a couple of friends of mine who started a woodworking business. Found that I really enjoyed that. So I uh, opened my own custom woodworking shop. I started out in the rental space out of town, but then I was able to come back and buy property right here in Garrison, uh, which was actually uh, family property at one time, which was uh, my dad and uncle had built the Burger Hut restaurant, for those of you that are old enough to remember that, up on Route 9. Um, so actually it was out of the family, and now it's back in the family again. And uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here in the town I, I was uh, born and raised in. I'm well, born in Carmel, raised here in, in Garrison, and, uh, and now have a business here. Um, I'm hoping that I can prosper with that business and uh, make a home here for my children and my children's children here. So I'm deeply concerned with, with uh, the taxes, uh, uh, keeping the community we have intact the way it is, the character of the community. Some people say that I'm out there to look out for big business. Uh, I've heard the rumor uh, thrown out there by our supervisor that I'm all about big box uh, construction and seeing a Walmart or Home Depot up on the corner here somewhere. That's not the, not the case at all. I'm here because I love this town too, and uh, I want it to be the best it can be for all of us. As we've gone around door to door getting petitions uh, in, in this petition season, We've heard uh, a couple of the top issues are taxes. Uh, the older citizens want to be able to afford to stay here. And younger people, they're having a difficult time being able to afford to live here with the taxes. So those are some top issues that we really have to take a serious look at when we get elected November 8th. One thing I realized when I got involved in the municipal affairs of the town through the zoning uh, was that uh, all of us should become civic-minded. Uh, I never before participated in the, in the town affairs before. You know, I used to go in the town hall, I'd pay my tax bill. I get a little jitters when I walked in there just to do that because I thought it was like a whole other uh, world when you went in there. But once I became involved and participated, I realized that this is something that all of us should do. We can foster a better government and a better community for all of us because now the government has the face of our community by participation.
Uh, my name is Katie DeMarco and I decided to run for town council because I'm fifth generation here. I've recently started a family here and Phillip sounds close to my heart and I want to do what I can to make Phillip sound a better place for the people. My name is Barbara Scuchamara. I am currently on the town board of Phillips Town. I've been here four years, my first term, and I feel like I'm just getting started. I have a million things that I want to work on and continue to work on. I've got my feet wet now and I'm ready to go. And I really hope that I get back in. It's a great ticket. Lee and Katie are wonderful. It's a Republican ticket that I know can win. This is a great team because we all get along and have a good time. Anytime we get together, we have a good time, don't we? A little bit too much. Well, a little bit too much. <laughs> You know, we've heard from a couple of other uh, uh, people that other other towns that have people running together, they're, they don't interact very well at all, but I, I think we, we have a great team. We get along great, and I think we're going to make a lot of good things happen for this town. And we're ready to work hard. Yeah. That's right. We're going to work hard together. We also have uh, Tina Miranda running for town clerk and Roger Cherico rerunning for uh, highway superintendent. Both great people as well. It's time for new direction, new ideas, and new leadership in the town of Phillipstown. Please remember to vote for us November 8th. I want to thank everybody for coming out today and supporting me. Uh, when you support me, you support my entire team. Katie, uh, Tina, Roger, and Barbara. And I think uh, electing one of us can make a difference, but electing all of us will make a difference. And I look forward to November when we win and take the victory back to our team for a change. What sound does the frog, frog make? What does the frog do, Hunter? Rigget! 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 Rigget!